Okay, I'm going in. So you can understand when your form is already and you have already created set alphas, you can then start to use the alphas on a form or character figure. When you do this, you can already see which parts of the body you want to work on. In this process, you would have already mentally segmented the form and where you want to put certain alphas. In a way, maybe even you would have created alphas for parts in the body, arms, legs, what have you, even parts on the clothing. By already angling the character, you can even have an idea of what you want to do. Placements, parts, form, etc. In the effect that you gave for alphas more pop, that adds to it more. Helps to put flair in the situation and even gets you more enthused in the completion process. Then as usual, you might do your line work to complete your process. Put the completing elements to make it whole, even in its entirety. In this discussion, I also want to discuss how it also depends on how you stylize your alphas in order to go with the work you're creating. This also adds to that like fashion aspect or even the details that you're putting forth which adds that oomph and kick to your character. With the way you create certain parts uh, presumably you'd say like in a promo like Photoshop or whatnot. This would help show you which parts of the fit that you would put these parts on, whether it's something that looks good for the back or something that is better for the front arms, some kind of extra crazy muscle detail or a piece of technology on a body, something that stands out. These kind of features would add to the uniqueness of the elements and the projects that you're creating. In this work, I actually did two faces. One that's more of a helmet structure, a piece over the face and the main face itself. And just kind of more or less exploring, you know, which one has a good look, which one can look better or what I would do with both and possibly later in future reference I may do something different to that homie. In this form I decided to do something with the forehead and with the sides of the face. Something that would add to the edges and give it its distinct look. With this project, I might bring it through Keyshot or something else later. As of that, I'm not exactly sure, but it just seems like it's, it's screaming for something now. As I was creating this series, this piece even, I'm not gonna front on it. I was kind of freestyling with the parts as I was starting. Then, when it started to get more solidified, I started to nail in more characteristics that seem like it would display good with the form given to it already. Forever etching the flow to solidify what you see before you. And input into added characteristics. <laughs> 